Thank you very much, Leanne and Beyond the Nine Fund for the kind invitation to uh, show here what we are doing together at the Global Conversation on Sustainability. Um, let me see if I can push. I hope you, you can see, right? Yes, you can see. Yes. Thank you, João. Okay, thank you very much once more. Uh, so um, I will just briefly introduce the, the project that Juliana just mentioned. So the Global Conversation on Sustainability is a recent project by uh, uh, IOPAC and the uh, uh, IYCN, the International Younger Campus Network. And uh, we need you. So we need all of you to, to help us in moving towards a sustainable future, as you can read here on the, on the slide. Okay, so uh, this is... Um, a joint project, as I mentioned, by uh, the International Younger Campus Network and the uh, IUPAC. Uh, and we have several members that are uh, affiliated with uh, either of these uh, organizations, but we have also people that are not directly linked to any of these. So there is plenty of room to any of you that would like also to join and to contribute to the, to the discussion in leading to a sustainable future. So, I mean, I think at this stage we have heard the great talks here today and along this year so all of us are familiar with the SDGs and the, the agenda for 2030 by the United Nations um, and of course we are more or less uh, in the middle of the of this process and we are behind what we should have achieved as of now so um, there are there is a lot of uh, issues that are still to be uh, addressed and uh, any of us can contribute as a citizens, but also through different uh, networks and organizations to try to achieve this uh, uh, SDG, right? So uh, we, we need to act uh, individually, sorry, uh, but also together. So because we'll lead to a stronger uh, uh, um, uh, challenge as well and uh, move forward in terms of, uh, uh, um, for instance, reducing inequalities, fighting climate change, um, but also uh, contribute to a sustainable development uh, worldwide. Um, and of course, the, uh, this is very important uh, for the for society. And so if we don't take actions, as we mentioned here on the last bullet point on the slide, this means that the, the future generation, probably not us, but our uh, um, um, kids will suffer from the things that we are not doing now in order to impart a sustainable future for uh, those future generations. So what we are doing within this global conversation on sustainability is the um, IUPAC IYCN joint project that started uh, one year ago. And so we are trying to uh, push the, the community, in particular the chemistry community, to uh, help us also in addressing the different SDGs. And we want to learn from all of you. So in different uh, countries, different regions, we have different SDGs that are pressing needs that have to be addressed. And we want with this conversation to exchange and to foster the change towards sustainable development. So here we highlight the main four goals of this project. So we, we aim to implement sustainable uh, practice. Let me just put my pointer. So we aim to implement a culture of sustainable practice among uh, all of us as chemists, but not only. So we are quite inclusive. So any scientist or anyone that would like to join and contribute, that is more than helpful, of course, to, to contribute to the discussion. So we want to showcase activities that people are pursuing uh, nationally or at regional level, but also internationally. So via interactions with other colleagues that could inspire the community also to, to use such knowledge to uh, address uh, the pressing SDGs that they might face within their region or, uh, or countries. We want, of course, to take actions together for the benefit of society and also taking uh, uh, care of the environment and uh, our planet. And uh, we want to launch these synergies. So this is very important, these synergies among different countries, because as I mentioned in the beginning, so we'll be much stronger if we work together aiming for a sustainable uh, future uh, globally. So I have here also the website, you can also have a look, but I will go briefly also through what you can find in the website and how to guide you to bring you to promote and to organize your own event next September 25th. So just to mention that this date, so every year we'll be organizing this um, Global Conversion of Sustainability that together is events by all of you worldwide. And uh, this date has been uh, selected as the anniversary of the SDGs. So that is why we are, uh, we chose this date. And uh, so let me just briefly uh, uh, give a heads up to all these people that you see here on the slide. So 
you can see the flags they represent the country of origin of the people so we have people as i mentioned in the beginning linked with iycn others with iupac with both or with other organization like uh, juliana is linked with beyond the nine and we have here different people as you see from different countries different genders so and this diversity is what brings us bring us values to to impart and to move on with this global conversation and to try to to reach to different countries uh, worldwide so Thank you very much to all of them. Everything that I will show here is through the contribution of all these people that are helping every day in moving forward with the project. So here I just show you the, the website. So it's like a print screen of what you can find when you access the homepage. And so here is not updated the date. So of course this will be 2023. Um, and when you go to the home page, you will read about the goals that I just mentioned. You will hear, see also a very nice video about the importance of sustainability for uh, uh, the children of today that will be um, the future of, um, of our society uh, and leading forward these efforts in continuing the efforts uh, uh, in targeting the SDGs. And you can also find, uh, so in here, uh, other... Um, other information, namely what type of events can be organized. So at this stage, you might think if you are not aware of the project, what can we do? How can we contribute? So there are different ways. In the website, if you go to the guidelines, you, you will uh, um, um, open a, a, a two PDFs in which you can find some templates in order that if you want to organize a lecture series so that you, are, you, you invite people from your region, it can be in person, virtually, hybrid format. So you decide whatever the format uh, of your event. And then you can ask people to talk about a specific SDGs or what your region uh, is doing or a country to, to target specific SDGs. You can also organize a panel discussion, a seminar, a science cafe, webinar, video recording. So anything is possible. Um, you just have to comply with the code of conduct that we have at the website and is uh, clear as well uh, in there. And uh, so here I am just highlighting this, this page. So the guidelines, you can just go and click and open the, for the lecture and the panel discussion. So you, you will see that everything mostly is, uh, most of you might be aware. So we have to plan well in advance the events. We have to invite people. We have to make sure if you are organizing a, a virtual setting that everything will work as smooth as possible. So we have some uh, ideas and guidelines that you can follow, of course. Uh, but this is not limited, as I mentioned uh, just one minute uh, ago, to this uh, lecture and panel discussion. So there are other formats, but most of them you can adapt to these guidelines to the different formats. So I will not go in detail to any of this. So this is a, a print screen also what you can find in the if you want to organize a lecture series. You have different steps that you should obey, but of course this is just a guideline, so it's not obligation for you for you to follow. So I will go rather quick over this. Again, all of these you can find at the, at the, the panel, in this case, lect lecture series uh, guidelines. And of course, don't forget after the end of your event, if it is a lecture, so to, to make a report and the, to get in touch with us, because we have also the opportunity to publish your events in, uh, for instance, a new magazine of IOPAC, that is Chemistry International, or also to try to, uh, to bring it to the flagship journal that is Pure and Applied Chemistry, but I will just talk uh, about this in, in a minute. So this is just for the panel, uh, uh, for the lecture series, sorry. For the panel is, you also have again, the, the some guidelines. Of course, you should have a moderator if you have a panel. Um, you should select well the speakers and the panelists to, to, should be engaging people so that people will be attracted to the, to the event and you should promote it. This is very important. So social media, as, as very uh, attractive for the people to get to know out there what are the events that are being organized. And we also have uh, uh, some hashtags that we are using for the promotion of the uh, global conversation on sustainability events organized every September 25th. I will also show you uh, the, the uh, hashtags and also our social media uh, in the upcoming slides. So again, all of these you can find at the website. So I will just pass them. And I will just highlight some of the in-person and virtual events that have been organized so, so that you can get inspiration eventually on some of these and try to organize because we are um, uh, five months in advance. So you have time to organize these events and to, to uh, join us in this uh, conversation to move to a sustainable future. 
So all of these events, we have also, uh, Juliana and I, we have been uh, uh, working also on the reports for the contribution of the different event organizers. We have asked them for the feedback, what were their challenges, what they benefit the most from organizing these events, what they believe that would be the most interesting points in their discussion with the people that they invite. And here I just highlight some of the events, for instance, this in-person event organized by uh, Professor uh, Francisca Curtin, we just heard at the beginning of this event, very much committed to sustainability and green chemistry. And here you can see, so on the left, these were some flyers that um, um, uh, she promoted also on social media to engage with the people. Um, also and promote locally within the University of Newfoundland. And then here on the right, you can see a picture of uh, um, uh, research that presented in research targeting specific uh, topics on, on uh, sustainability, okay? So this is just one event on possibility. Then they had like a panel discussion with all together, discussing also the challenges in achieving the SDGs and how the different people could contribute in moving forward with, uh, with these uh, SDGs. Uh, that should be attained again by 2030. So another one, just to showcase that this is really global and we want to make it really global, was organized by the uh, Sao Paulo uh, University in Brazil. Again, this was a, a, an in-person event. You can see how here also the flyer promoted by uh, um, the, the team involved in the organization. Um, and here it was very focused, of course, on the organic chemistry, and they got also people speaking from Merck, targeting in industry, and now industry and academia can join efforts, of course, in targeting sustainability. Um, and this was also a discussion and several item points that we have discussed, uh, Julian and I, in the article that uh, we just published in Chemist International. So, in terms of virtual events, of course, this is also possible and easier nowadays. We are used to, unfortunately, due to COVID, but we are used to, to organize virtual settings. And um, the good thing is that normally these virtual settings you can record if the, if the speakers uh, agree to, to, to have the event recorded. And then you can upload it into different uh, uh, websites like, like these colleagues did uh, on YouTube so that you can rewatch the, the conversation if you, you couldn't uh, uh, um, listen to all the discussion or if it was like an overlap with other meetings. So you can uh, really uh, see what uh, has been discussed and try to learn and also engage with the people later on via the interactions with the, within the chat. So another one, it was in Paraguay. Again, here we have some uh, uh, highlights in terms of the pictures, also the flyer. Again, promotion is very important also to bring people to your event, mainly if it is in, uh, in uh, a virtual setting because you can attract people from all over the world to your uh, event. So also our event within the task group at IYC and IUPAC uh, uh, GCS project. So this uh, was really a very nice event as well. Uh, 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 that uh, Juliana took the lead here. She is very active as well in, in the project, so not only at Beyond the Nine. And the, the event has been also recorded, and we had uh, a very nice talk by Amy, by Javier, uh, Anna Becker, Jeffrey. Uh, so it was very nice also then uh, to hear from what these institutions are doing in targeting sustainability, but also follow with their discussion targeting the different points. So please have a look, and uh, this is very nice. It's also recorded, and you can, you can follow the, the discussion. Another event just to mention, so it was organized by the Italian Young of Service. So this was a pre-recorded video that they uploaded into a YouTube channel. Uh, so this is also another way. So you don't need to be on the day of the event to, to organize the event. You can organize it previously and then you can send us the recording and we can upload. But of course, if you have it uh, um, um, like live during the September 25th, this will be very nice because then we can see different events ongoing and people can jump from one side to the other um, and, and see what the others are discussing worldwide. So how to, very briefly, how you can register. So at the website you have here uh, above, the register now. When you go there, you will, uh, as of now, you will see this form, but soon this will change. So I can inform you already, First hand that we are making some adjustments in the website and the world map that you have seen from uh, uh, Fran pertaining to the GWB, we'll have a similar stuff here as well in GCS. So it will be quite interactive. You will see the logos across all over the world. And so you will have the possibility to, to sign up with your event soon uh, in the different way that you are seeing now. But if you want to make it today, so please feel free, of course, we'll collect again the events and then add them into the map. 
So the article that I, that I mentioned before, it was written by Juliana and myself, in which we highlight different events. So we really hope that this work is an inspiration for you to organize events next September 25th. And uh, if you have any questions after seeing this article on the website, so please feel free to email us. You can see the contact at the website as well. Uh, so again, uh, really we'll be very happy to see the different maps and different places worldwide being filled with the, with the GCS logo. When you feel it will appear this across the, the city or the country in which you are signing up the event. So this is quite nice to see, as you have seen from uh, uh, Fran uh, uh, as per the GWB. And just if you want to contact us, so you have here uh, our email. Also, we are uh, active on the LinkedIn and the Twitter. And of course, we can uh, always uh, check the website for updates, as I mentioned, regarding the, the, the updates on the project. If you organize an event and have a social media on Twitter and LinkedIn, please put the hashtag sustain for all on GCS day 2023 in case you organize this year, because then we can easily track the, the events, but you can also track as and uh, uh, um, tag as within the Twitter and LinkedIn. Of course, we are very thankful to our sponsor, the Merck uh, KJAA from Darmstadt, Germany. Allow our partners, Beyond Benign, International Year of Basic Science for Sustainable Development, International Sustainable Collaborative Center, Global Org Academy, um, but also the um, UNEP uh, Chemicals and Waste Youth Platform. So I know that I am delayed, but if I have maybe one minute, Juliana, or two, if I may. So I want just to highlight, because I have been talking about the IYCN and IUPAC and the joint partnership in this project. So the IYCN is really a young organization, is affiliated with IUPAC. And here you see a picture from all the people that have been part of the General Assembly in Paris in 2019. So you can read here our vision to connect and empower younger chemists global and our mission to support and advocate for all of you uh, working across the chemical science towards achieving a sustainable future. So if you are not a membership, please have a look into this website. We are quite inclusive. I will not, uh, for the sake of time, I will not uh, uh, talk about different uh, categories, but it's quite inclusive. You will see in the form and for any uh, questions, you can always email, email the network. We are very uh, kind also to, to receive um, um, your emails and reply to them. Just to show the, the executive board of IYCN, this year is shared by Thorsten until the upcoming General Assembly in the Ag in AYA. And you can see diversity of people uh, and different committees. And the people working in these committees are always looking for volunteers. So please keep aware of the websites of uh, uh, IYCN and also social media channels for opportunities to engage and volunteer. So one just a brief project that is the mentoring program. I think it's quite attractive for many of you that are within the audience and that are PhD students. So this is a program that aims to, to uh, uh, support uh, those of you that are doing a PhD across the chemical science. We aim to match uh, PhD students with uh, the, a mentor and the mentor is really tracked according to your preference. So you can check this until the 1st of June, you can apply. So you have some days left to do it. So please take the chance and uh, um, you will then see, and if you have questions, you can always uh, email us. 2022 was the first year and it went really very, very nice. And uh, we are really pushing for this year. This event will be organizing soon. The IUPAC top 10 emerging technologies, they try to cover different technologies targeting the sustainability, but also the importance of chemistry in bringing these technologies to, uh, to uh, the benefit of society and sustainability of our planets. This is completely free as all the events of IYCN. So I, uh, um, I, I would like to encourage you to sign up for this event next May 23 at 5 p.m. Central European time. So just to finalize, we have also events on science for policy and the, the IYCN board has been organizing a mental health survey uh, that already closed, as you see here, it was until 31st of, of January, but there will be events coming up like uh, webinars, articles, and uh, that you can also engage and be, uh, and be aware of all these events. And just to finalize, we are organizing a young program at IUPAC in the, in the Hague. So if you are joining IUPAC 2023, so please have a look on the occasion of the young program. This is a joint effort of IYCN, the European Young Chemist Network, and the young KNCV, and you can check more details at the iupac.org uh, website. So just to thank the sponsors, of course, of the IYCN along the years, currently mostly from getting sponsorship from Merck, Darmstadt, Germany, and of course, all the support from IUPAC. And 
just the social media channels and the, the websites in case you, you want, of course, to, to engage with the IUPAC and IYCM. So thank you very much for taking the time. And Juliana, sorry for the delay. Uh, you know how I am, so I talk too much. So thank you. And I am happy to, to engage with in the in the breakout room to answer any questions.